Honestly, I'm just a cinnamon roll freak. I love cinnamon rolls. So whenever we go out of town, since there's no place here that really does cinnamon roll like I like them, I'll search for the best cinnamon rolls. And my wife, Katie, she'll search for donuts. We were in Chicago and I yelped best cinnamon rolls and went to this place that was famous for their cinnamon rolls, went in, they were amazing. And we were sitting there and I thought, man, nobody in Hot Springs does a cinnamon roll like that. And so I thought we could get Red Light Roastery Coffee and figure out how to make a roll like that and get close to downtown, then we could make a business out of it. I came back home, started Googling recipes, tried them, horrible, like hockey pucks, tried another one, horrible, and finally, about halfway through it, I decided I didn't try to figure out the whole science behind it, you know, gluten and yeast and all that kind of stuff, because I don't bake. One thing I'd ever baked was cake or brownies out of a box. So when I did a little bit of research on what makes things work, it finally hit it. Changed to yeast and it changed cinnamons, and, and that's when it was, it was perfect. We had a three and a half week wait list for rolls. We were doing 60 dozen a week, and we were baking just absolutely all the time. And we knew it, we either had to just quit it or see if maybe we should open a storefront. And that's when we decided, let's give it a shot and start looking around and see if we can find a location. We, we lost our first location, number two, number three, number four. Um, we started to get kind of discouraged. And then finally, um, we, we came in here and this, this building was just dilapidated. This place has been empty for 20 years. All the windows were boarded up. It was, it was raining the day we looked at it and had our umbrellas and came in and realized it was raining just as hard inside as it was outside. But we started looking around and we saw that there was brick on the wall and started looking at it and just, we kind of fell in love within about 10 minutes. We just, we had to have it. And um, that's when the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center at Henderson really kicked in and helped. You know, trying to get, trying to get financing as a small business when you don't have um, any history you know, baking out of the house isn't exactly something that the banks look as a solid history of, of sales, you know. Um, and so we're coming into this trying to justify why to give us a loan to buy this building, and they really helped with that. We had no idea opening the doors how many people to expect, you know, um, tourism. This is a big tourism town. Um, they, give me, they, they helped give me tourism numbers compared industries, help let us know what other industries that were similar to ours could were doing, and it was a huge help. If it weren't for them, we'd probably still be running in circles lost.